When you think of Cedar Point, you think of record-breaking coasters. You think of Millennium Force, Top Thrill Dragster, Steel Vengeance. You don't typically think of Cedar Creek Mine Ride. This coaster doesn't have the stats to impress at a height of 48 feet and a max speed of 42 miles per hour. Some would say that maybe it should be on the chopping block here soon. Well, I'm here to argue against that. Welcome everybody to Roller Coaster Airtime. In this video, I'm trying to convince you and possibly Cedar Point and some Cedar Creek Mine Ride haters that Cedar Creek Mine Ride has its place in Cedar Point. The coaster was built in 1969, and as I mentioned earlier, its stats not impressive. 48 feet tall, 42 miles per hour. This, uh, yeah, this is a kiddie coaster nowadays, but that's my first reason. You just don't have coasters like this anymore, this hybrid steel design built by Aerodynamics, that means it's a wood frame with a steel track that offers a pretty smooth ride that was built 50 years ago. So my first reason is it serves its purpose. It's a great ride to help break people in to roller coasters and thrill rides. Reason number two the Cedar Creek Mine Ride should not be the next coaster to go to Cedar Point is because there's other coasters, wink wink, at the park that should probably go before Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Uh, I'm talking about three roller coasters in particular, one of them being Corkscrew. Corkscrew always has a short line. It looks extremely dated now, and when people ride it, it's uncomfortable. I mean, I know uh, I'm a little bit taller, and when I sit down in it, like the restraints coming up over top of me, just like I don't, I can't have a good ride. It's not physically possible. And I think that a first-time thrill seeker might look at this coaster and be like, "Oh, you know, it's kind of small, and uh, my kid might like this one." But it's so rough and intense in a bad way that it can cause a first time roller coaster rider to not like roller coasters. The next roller coaster that we could definitely see go next is Iron Dragon and it's just simply because there aren't very many coasters like this left. I think of Iron Dragon and the Bat at Kings Island might be it. So they're hard to get parts for, they're just outdated now. And I think the Dark Horse to be removed before Cedar Creek Mine Ride is Rougarou. It's, uh, you know, Rougarou has a history. It was Mantis, a stand-up coaster, before it was uh, transformed into a floorless coaster like this you see here. And it's just a lost a lot of its appeal when it became a floorless co coaster. Um, it just has a, a weak drop. Uh, the, the ridership is lower than it has been. And I think the people that do get to ride it are genuinely disappointed with it compared to Raptor, Gatekeeper, Val Raven, um, the other B&Ms in the park. I think it just doesn't meet the bar. And it sits on such a large plot of land that they could really do something nice on it. Talking about what other coasters in the park should be torn down next actually brings me to my next point, which is that none of them should be torn down unless they have to be. We want to build another coaster while the other coasters are still operating because Cedar Point is packed, especially today in today's time in 2020 where you have to have an access pass and some of these lines spew the length of the midway, go halfway through the park. We need some rides, actually we need all the rides and all the restaurants open that we can to help disperse the crowd and to help get funnel out some of the general public uh, from the population, help get them onto some of these rides like Cedar Creek Mine Ride.
Thank you for making it this far in the video. I hope I stated a good case for Cedar Creek Mine Ride. And if you're uh, somebody who's going to be riding their first roller coaster or visiting their first theme park and it happens to be Cedar Point, check out Cedar Creek Mine Ride. It won't disappoint you. It'll give you a good vibe and let you know what the forces of a roller coaster are kind of like and ease you into that. For those of you that have been to Cedar Point before, let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear if you think I'm off on anything or if you disagree with my assessment here. Whether you agree or disagree, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you like talking about roller coasters, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, we'll see you on Roller Coaster Airtime.